बॉयज दिस लेसन इज फॉर क्लास टू चैप्टर्स नेम इज कंप्यूटर और स्मार्ट मशीन दिस इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर नाउ व्हाट इज अ कंप्यूटर आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्पेंडिंग क्लास वन आल्सो कंप्यूटर इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस इट इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस वाइज कॉल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बिकॉज इट रन ऑन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बट देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल ओके Electrical machines generates it gives uh, it converts electricity into uh, light or heat. Was electronic? It uses electronic components. But you have to understand what is a computer. Simply, you have to say computer is an electronic device. Device is machine which works very fast and which makes a work easy. Electronic because it runs on electricity. Now, why it's called a smart machine? it's called a smart machine because we we can do many things with the help of computer we can do online shopping we can get information any information have you heard of google yes we just google it then you, you can book your tickets you can book your railway tickets air, air tickets or even cinema tickets movie tickets you can do chatting you can send messages you can do, you can listen to music you can play games that's why it's called a smart machine now there's a difference between man and machine machine cannot think man can think machine is a computer and computer is a machine computer never gets bored man gets bored if i give you some work after let's say 20 uh, 30 40 minutes you'll get tired but much but computer it keep on working clear that's why it's a smart machine now there are certain advantages and disadvantages of computer now what are the advantages first is speed computer is very fast it works very fast if i type a question if a mathematical question a lengthy question so you get the answer in milliseconds and the answer will be correct if i ask you to add a two numbers and i will give you a very big number you may take time and your answer may be wrong but here the answer will be correct now listen sometimes the computer may give you wrong in answer only if you give wrong command there's a term called gigo there's a term called gigo gigo means garbage in garbage out garbage is kura okay so if you if you give wrong command you will get wrong answer otherwise computer always get correct answer so remember the first is speed computer works very fast second is memory it has a very large memory oh you can so i ask you to learn two pages you may after two three days you may forget isn't it but computer never forgets whatever is stored in the memory of the computer it will remain there accuracy it is 100% correct accurate then storage now what is storage now it can store lot of information i can type 100 of pages and i can store it where it is stored in, in the secondary storage like hard disk pen drive cds okay so, so you can store there have you heard of a pen drive of 32 gb 64 GB. Yes, the more the GB, the more you can store. Then versatility. Versatility means computer can do many types of work. Versatile, multitasking. You can listen to music. You can see movies. You can play games. You can search for information. That's why it's called a versatile machine. Okay. So again, these are few advantages of a computer. speed you say the speed is very fast the computer works very fast memory it, it is a very large memory it never forgets accuracy it's always correct storage you can store large amount of data and versatility many types of work can be done so these are the advantages now but because it's being a machine there are certain disadvantages also what are the disadvantages it cannot think yes because it is a machine it cannot think yes because computer being a machine it cannot think and it works only when command is given 
suppose your computer is on it will not work only when you it will work only when you give a command and it works according to the command whatever the command you give it works according to that because computer follows the instructions or you may say commands then you have computer viruses now, what is a computer virus it's a program it's a software but it is a harmful program it is a harmful program yes what happens it gets the computer gets infected through your email or if you are using a pen drive so what will happen the virus will attack your computer in the same it means your it, it, the computer may not work properly your file may not open or it, it may get deleted so to get rid of viruses we use antivirus isn't it yes now that personal information may get leaked yes so you have to be very careful when you are chatting and when you are sending emails you have to be very careful never send your personal information or there are hackers they what they, they they hack your information so they, these are they, actually this is a big disadvantage of a computer then e waste now what is e waste suppose your computer is not working actually what will what will happen you will dump it so likewise there are millions of such computers which are not working so they create e waste isn't it yes so these are few disadvantages and right? so remember that because computer is a machine it cannot think it has no reasoning power it has no log logical sense it works only when the command is given and whatever the command is given it works according to that only i gave example of gigo garbage in garbage out means if you give wrong command you will get wrong result yes then computer viruses viruses are software but these are harmful programs now personal information may get leaked so you have to be careful while sharing your information then there is e waste e waste means electronic waste like you have even mobiles also hai na there are thousands millions of mobiles not working so they create e waste one if you now one thing more if you sit for computer for a very long time what will happen i'm not sitting with a proper posture so you may have back ache hai na so this is also a disadvantage yes so i may write here bad posture okay and if you don't keep a, a good distance between the monitor and yourself so you have to keep a distance between yourself that